Greetings hobbyists, this is Arsans of Vool. And in this video we're going to have a look at the different ways you can symmetrize and mirror in Blender. So I've been making this automated arm and this is going to be something we're going to rig in a future video. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe if you want to have a look at how to do that. Or alternatively, if you want to support the channel further, if you're watching this on YouTube, that is already up on my Patreon channel. So feel free to head over to the Patreon channel where you can enjoy all of my videos ad free and a week early. But as I was making it, I was talking to someone online and we sort of realized we were using some terms really badly. And that is the term to symmetrize and the term to mirror in Blender. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to focus on this little part here, which I need to make into a more interesting shape. And I'm just gonna use this to demonstrate the difference between symmetrizing and mirroring. And while we do that, we're gonna actually have a talk about the different ways to do it. And while we're doing that, we'll discuss some different add-ons and how they can allow you to do these different things to be as efficient as possible. And if you even need those extra programs, and there's a good chance you might already have some of them. So let's just dive into this. So let's just start with the difference. So mirroring is when you've got an object and you're gonna use a modifier to make it effectively symmetrical. This is probably why it gets confused with symmetrizing and the terms get used interchangeably. But if I bring in something like a cube and then I'm just gonna bring that up there let's scale that up a bit and then I'm just going to G and Z that down to make that a little bit more of an interesting shape and then control and minus that to cut it out and then H to hide so to mirror this would be to do something like that which creates a copy on the other side but it is very importantly a modifier we've got the modifier in a stack over here and we can change how that affects this whereas if we were to do something similar to this let's say I come into vertex mode cut through here control and B that to bevel it and then grab let's say those two vertices and then G and Y those across symmetrizing is different in that we're going to do that and it's not making a modifier it is effectively copying the geometry over from one side to the other. Essentially, the difference is that one is non-destructive, we can turn it on and off, and the other one is destructive, but they are useful in different situations, depending on what you want to do. For example, this was very quick to do, whereas if I was to do this over here, I then need to apply it, so it can take longer if that's what you want to do. Okay, let's go through how to do these then. So we'll start with mirroring, and there are a number of ways of doing this, but we'll start with the one that is native to Blender. So all you need to do is go to add modifiers and you want to bring in a mirror modifier at this point it asks you what you want to do what axis you want to be on so I'm gonna have a look at my gizmo up here and I can see that I want to go from Y to Y so I want to click Y and we'll notice that it's not doing anything that's because at the moment it always goes from positive Y to negative Y and my cutter if I just bring that up showing it with ever scroll is on the negative side so this isn't actually going to work what we need to do is now tell it that we want to do it not from positive Y to negative Y we want it from negative Y to positive Y. And to do that, we just click flip. And if you're gonna flip it, you generally need to bisect it as well. And there we go, we've got that working. So you can do this that way, and it takes a while to faff around. The other option, if we get rid of this, vary in type. So the first one that we've got is to use machine tools. Machine tools is effectively free. You can go to Gumroad to get machine tools and put in zero when it asks you how much you want to pay for it. But as always, I would suggest you do give something to the developers. Obviously, they put a lot of work into this. And to use this, if we go to Edit, Preferences, and we find Machine Tools, you need to click on this mirror. So you need to have that option enabled. And then once you've done that, you can just press Shift, Alt, and X, and it brings up this gizmo. Now, this is going to be important for later. You then drag towards the side you want to copy to. So I want to copy towards the positive Y. So I'm going to drag that way and it's worked out my mirror modifier and it automatically has the axes correct and it has the bisect and it has the flip because of the direction we're going. If I'd have gone the other way, so shift alt x and gone that way, it'd have done it and it would worked out that it didn't need to use the flip. So it does all the thinking for you. The other way you can do this is using hard ops. Now hard ops is paid for, but it has so many other features, I would say it's worth it, but the choice is up to you. For hard ops, you just press alt and x and then you come up with this funky menu here and in a slight difference, what you're gonna do is you want to click on the side that you want to copy via, and you'll notice it says what you're doing. So if I put my mouse over it, I want to copy via the minus Y, I click that, and it does it for me. And again, it's worked out everything that we wanted to do. And if I was to undo that, again, Alt and X, and then if I click the other side, mirroring via the Y, it will have mirrored the other way around. 
So that's our options there. We can either use native Blender or we can use machine tools, free, or we can use hard ops, paid for, but has loads of other features. Not the machine tools doesn't have a load of other features. I would just say that machine tools and hard ops are the two add-ons that I would always suggest everyone gets, regardless of what you want to do as long as it's hard surface modeling. Right, let's go back to symmetrizing. And to do that, we need to have some changes to demonstrate. So I'm gonna go into edge mode and I'm gonna bevel that one and probably bevel that one, which is something that I wanted to do as part of this model anyway. And now we want to bring this over to the other side. Again, multiple ways of doing this. The first is to do it with native Blender tools. So you need to tab into some version of edit mode, A, to make sure everything's selected, and then you just go to mesh and you click on symmetrize. Now, this has gone horribly wrong at the moment because again, we've got to say what direction we want it to symmetrize to and from. And at the moment it's done from the minus Z to the positive Z. We want from the minus Y to the positive Y and we've now got that symmetrized across. Similarly, you can select the other versions. So for example, positive to negative, you just need to pay attention to your gizmo to see what you're doing. So not particularly long-winded, but not as fast as some of the other options. So I'm just gonna undo that. The other way to do this is to use Mesh Machine. Now, Mesh Machine comes from the same company that makes machine tools, but as opposed to machine tools, Mesh Machine has a cost and it is quite expensive. I think it's about $40. And most of the functions, if I come in, are here. And it has a lot of, oh, there's a new version available. I should grab that. And it has a lot of different functions that it allows you to do. And don't get me wrong, Mesh Machine is amazing. It does some things that you wouldn't be able to do at all otherwise, especially these Boolean cleanups, which it massively speeds up, and also things to do with faffing around with bevels and undoing bevels and chamfers and things like that. It is a really great tool. I would probably say it's not quite as high on my priority list as having something like Hard Ops, Box Cutter and Machine Tools, but it is great nonetheless. Now, what this allows you to do is once you're in edit mode, just click Alt and X, and this brings up this same flick menu and you can just drag to the side to do that. So definitely a lot faster than having to go up to mesh and then symmetrize and then pick your options, but you are paying for that additional ease. So there we go. That is mirroring and symmetrizing and the different programs that you can use to complete them. Have a great day, guys.